What's up guys? As you know, the iOS 8.3 jailbreak has been released, but it comes with one small catch and that is that it's Windows only. But that's actually not really a big deal at all. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to run a Windows virtual machine using Windows 10 and VMware Fusion. It's totally free. It's super quick, super easy. It doesn't take a lot of time at all. I say in half an hour, 45 minutes tops, you'll be rocking a jailbroken phone, even if you only own a Mac. And it could be faster than that depending on your internet connection and how quick you are. So just follow along. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to jailbreak your iPhone with iOS 8.3 using Taiji 2.0 on a Mac using a simple, easy to set up virtual machine. So let's get started, enough talk. There's gonna be four things you need to download. Number one, you need to download Windows 10 to Insider Preview. Uh, you can download that from this link. I'll have that in the description of the video. It's super easy. Make sure you just download the x86 version, not the x64 version. Download the 32-bit version. It comes in at about 2.76 gigabytes. So not only is it smaller, it's gonna uh, go faster with regard to the download, but you experience less problems in my ex experience uh, with regard to uh, driver issues. So just download the x86 build here, uh, the 2.76 gigabytes. Also, you wanna download VMware Fusion, which is right here. You can download that and you get a free 30-day trial or something like that. So download that. You also wanna download iTunes, the 32-bit version, because we're working with 32-bit Windows, you want to download iTunes 12.1. You can download that from IPSW.me. Again, I'll have a link in the description. And last but not least, you want to download the Taiji tool, uh, which is uh, Taiji 2.0, and that is Windows only, and you can find that from my download blogs download page. So I'll have all those links in the description. Now that we know what we need, I already have all this downloaded here, um, as you can see right now. And depending on your connection, it may take a little while to download all that, but it's actually pretty quick. Um, and you should have that in no time. So once you do, make sure you save it all to your desktop. Now let's get started with this jailbreak on our Mac even though it's Windows only. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna launch VMware Fusion. And we just wanna mount that. You wanna double click to install. So literally, we're, we're starting from scratch. So just click open. And we'll put in our administrator password. I'm not gonna even speed any of this up. I just want you to see the entire process from start to finish. And at the end, we're gonna have a jailbroken device. So now I'm gonna select install from disk or image, click continue. I'll just clear this out. That's old item, then click use another disk or disk image. I'm gonna point it to my desktop here. Find my Windows 10 developer preview, 32 bit. Click open, click continue. Use easy install, make sure that's checked. Put your account name in there. Everything else just leave blank, click continue. Continue without a key. Select more isolated, click continue. Click customize settings, click save. And then click processors and memory. Select at least two processor cores, click show all, close out, click play button. And we're started with the actual Windows installation. So this is actually the longest part of this entire tutorial, in my opinion. I, I'm pretty sure this is the longest part by far. Um, the Windows installation does take some time, um, so you just have to be patient in this part. But while, while this is installing, I'll just talk to you about what else you should be doing in the meantime so you obviously want your iphone i prefer having a freshly clean uh, installed iphone you don't have to but i find that things work a lot easier when you just have a clean install of ios 8.3 all right so pause on that on that comment for a second we're just going to click next here to continue and um, now we're going through the copying files and actual install part process so um back to the iphone comment I like to have a fresh, clean installation of iOS. So I have iOS 8.3 with a fresh, clean installation uh, on my iPhone 5S that I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna show you the entire process from start to finish, and we will have a jailbroken device once this tutorial is completed. Um, also, in the meantime, go ahead and if you have your phone, you have uh, Find My iPhone enabled. You wanna disable that by going to Settings, iCloud, turning off Find My iPhone. You'll have to do that for this to work. And also you wanna just go ahead and disable any passcode you may have set up on your device as well. So Find My iPhone off, passcode off, um, fresh install if possible of iOS 8.3, and uh, make sure your, uh, your iPhone is plugged into your computer. Uh, so that's pretty much the whole gist of it. Um, so we're just wait on this installation. 
all the files were copied over. Um, and now it's installing features, installing updates, and pretty soon we'll be rebooting a couple of times. <laughs> Several times, actually. But again, this is definitely, I'll just click restart now. This is definitely the longest part of this tutorial. Um, that is if you already have your files downloaded and you're not on a really slow connection. But again, Windows 10 isn't that big, like 2.67 gigabytes isn't a, isn't a whole lot. And VMware is like 300 megabytes. The iTunes is like 100 and some odd megabytes and the Taiji jailbreak is like 60 megabytes. So uh, not too big. And um, we'll just wait on this. Getting devices ready. But again, like a lot of people, like when they when they see these jailbreaks released and they say Windows only, they just panic and they're like, why? Why is this Windows only? That's not fair. But it really, really doesn't matter, folks. Like. You know, it's so easy to run a virtual machine on a Windows box nowadays. Uh, you can do so pretty much free of charge. Um, there really is no disadvantages to just going Mac only. Like if you're a gamer, that's one thing, but of course there's boot camp and things like that. But if you're a gamer, that's understandable. Like a Mac probably isn't gonna be your first choice. But for everything else, like the times you do need Windows, virtual machine is perfectly adequate. In fact, what I recommend doing it's just like after this tutorial is finished, just throw the virtual machine instance on like a USB flash drive or something, and then just dump that in a, a closet or a drawer or something for whenever you need it in the future. And that way, whenever there's another jailbreak that's Windows only, you'll be ready. You won't even have to go through this whole this whole process. You'll just bring out your flash drive, copy that, copy the virtual machine back over to your desktop, and um, then you're you're ready. You're good to go. You launch that, run your jailbreak. You're good. It's just like you have a Windows box with you all the time. So yeah, I mean, it's no big deal when these, these jailbreaks are Windows only. So easy to run these virtual machines. And we should be almost complete. There's gonna be a little bit more setup to go here. But I did wanna just draw this out. Like usually what I'll do is I'll just go through and speed up everything 200 times over or whatever, something crazy. Uh, but I didn't want to do this because I wanted you to have a real, a real world look at how long this really takes. This actually takes outside of, of course, the downloads for like Windows and VMware. But I think you'll be surprised how quickly we can go from nothing to something. This is a good opportunity for me to take to tell you guys, please like this video if you appreciate this tutorial, um, this is, uh, that's, that, that really helps <laughs> liking this video. Even if you don't like the video, just dislike it. I mean, do something, engage, please leave a comment. If you have any suggestions, is there something that I'm doing that I probably could do better? Please let me know because I really do want to know these things and, um, it helps so that I know how to, to better serve you guys. So I think maybe have one more reboot no maybe maybe that's the last reboot and we'll need to log out to complete the uh, vmware tools installation vmware tools is like all the drivers and everything you need to have you know good display settings and support for hardware uh, peripherals and things like that um and it's nice because that's done automatically with vmware you don't have to like go and install tools after the fact it installs it automatically and then you just log out, log back in to apply the changes. It's really cool. Picked a nice purple color for me there. Okay. Almost. All right, now it's gonna probably ask me to log out to finish the VMware tools installation. Do you wanna allow your PCs? Yes. Maybe it won't, maybe it will. There we go. So just click okay, that's the VMware tools. It's gonna to log you out. And then you could just simply log back in. Click and click sign in. 
We didn't set a password, remember? And then our desktop should look really nice. There we go. The Windows is really beautiful, actually. Windows 10, I like it a lot. So now what we want to do is we want to drag these two files here, the Taiji jailbreak file and the iTunes setup file, over to our virtual machine, just like that, and release, and it'll copy them over just like that. Really simple, really easy. All right, so both of the files are there. Obviously, the first thing you want to do is uh, install iTunes setup. Um, so we'll just double click on that. And this again is going to be iTunes 12.1, which is an older version of iTunes that I know for sure works with, uh, the Taiji jailbreak and it's not going to hang you up at 20% like a lot of people are experiencing with this jailbreak. And this also will give us all the necessary drivers that we need to communicate with the, your iPhone and the virtual machine. I'll just click yes anytime that pops up. And we're almost in the home stretch, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up my camera here. So. Okay, the camera's fired up. All right, so open iTunes after installer exits. So sure, why not? Click finish, click agree. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go up to where it says virtual machine here, click there, and then select USB and Bluetooth and make sure you select connect Apple iPhone. And that will connect your phone to the virtual machine so that all the drivers and everything can be installed. So if you see an item that says trust on your uh, iPhone screen, just tap on trust. And then you may get a prompt to download the latest version of iTunes. Select don't ask me again, and then select don't download. And then click continue if you get that box. All right, so I think the drivers are installed. You can just select no thanks here. And um, just make sure iTunes recognizes seizure device. It does. So there we go. So what we'll do is we'll just close out of iTunes now and let's try it. Here's the moment of truth folks. So I'm going to go ahead and just double click on the Taiji jailbreak tool. All right. So it did recognize my device and you'll see these two options here. Just uncheck the three K assistant. We don't want that and make sure Cydia is checked. All right, so now here we go. Let's just click start. And again, find my iPhone and everything is disabled on your phone. Make sure the passcode lock is off as well. So now it's restarting. And we'll just let it keep running. Now you shouldn't get stuck on this 20% because we are using uh, iTunes 12.1, which should in theory not experience that problem. We'll just wait it out of here. There we go. Beautiful. So it shouldn't be too much longer now, and we'll have a jailbroken iPhone 5S with Cydia on the home screen. Injecting. Executing. 
definitely in the home stretch now. And if you get that storage error on your um, on your phone, just ignore that. It's completely it doesn't mean anything. Ninety nine percent. Jailbreak succeeded. So, folks, we are jailbroken now. Uh, we started from nothing and now we have a jailbroken device. Um, even though I only have a Mac, I don't own a Windows machine, but thanks to a virtual machine, it is so easy to jailbreak your iPhone, even if you're just a Mac user. Um, so that's it, folks. We can actually close out of the virtual machine. I'll just select virtual machine and then just shut it on down and shut down. All right, so here's our iPhone, iPhone. so I'll just unlock. There's Cydia. So, normal preparing file system message. And it really is, folks, that easy <laughs> to jailbreak your iPhone. So I hope this was able to really help you out just to let you see that you don't need a Windows box in order to enjoy a jailbreak. And it doesn't matter if developers want to release uh, jailbreaks that are windows only because it's so easy to run a virtual machine i'll just actually close out of vmware completely just quit it it's so easy to run a virtual machine it's so easy to enjoy a jailbroken iphone regardless if you're a mac user or if you're a mac only user or not uh, so folks let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section again if you appreciated this video walkthrough please leave me a like and let me know in the comments this is jeff with iDownloadBlog. blog